بسم الله The concept of tawbah, of the ways we cause Jahannam to be averted away, and of the ways we cause our sins to be forgiven, is the concept of tawbah. And tawbah is an action of the heart. Repentance is a spiritual frame of mind. It is an internal act. And it means that we return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because a sin distances us from Allah. A sin puts distance between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what does tawbah do? Tawbah literally means to return to. Taba yatubu means to come back to. So tawbah is to come back to Allah after the sin has been done. And tawbah is desired. Not only is it desired, it is wajib. It is obligatory. Tawbah is obligatory on each and every Muslim every single day of his or her life. And the blessings of Tawbah are many, and I have given multiple khutbahs, and every single scholar and every single lecture has talked about the importance of Tawbah. And Tawbah is the most effective mechanism for having our sins forgiven. There is nothing more powerful to avert Jahannam than the concept of Tawbah. And what makes it even more powerful, that no sin can withstand Tawbah. Tawbah forgives every sin. Inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a. Allah can forgive all sins. But how? Wa anibu ila rabbikum. Wa aslimu lahu. Turn to your Lord. Submit to Him through the concept of Tawbah. So Tawbah forgives all sins. That makes it powerful. And what especially makes it powerful, dear brothers and sisters, is that its acceptance is guaranteed for the one who is sincere. The one who is sincere, the acceptance is guaranteed. No one can come between the sinner and Allah's mercy if the sinner practices tawbah. There is nothing that can avert tawbah being accepted. And therefore tawbah is powerful because it is wajib, because it is commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because it forgives all sins, and because the one who practices it and perfects it is guaranteed forgiveness. So when these are the stakes, then how can we not take advantage of tawbah? And in fact, some of our scholars have said that the concept of tawbah is one of the wisdoms why Allah created us. Think about this. When the angels asked, why would you create an inferior species? Why would you create a species that is bloodthirsty, killing, going to war? Why would you do that? We are sinless. We don't commit any sins. We are perfect. We praise you constantly, day and night. We don't sleep. We don't get tired. We never forget. Why would you do this? And Allah says, I know what you do not know. In the a'lamu ma la ta'lamun. And some of our mufassirun have remarked that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to manifest His merciful side as well. The fact that He forgives, the fact that He accepts the repentance of the sinner, and the angels do not sin, and the angels do not ask for forgiveness, and the angels do not need tawbah. So who needs tawbah? We need tawbah. And that is why our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam laid the foundations when he said that I repent to Allah every single day. Every single day. This is part of the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So number one is tawbah. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reminded us, At-ta'ibu min adhambi kamal la dhambalah. The one who practices tawbah, repents to Allah, it is as if he has never committed the sin in the first place.